morning guys so this is the Ati Amori Dam beautiful spot free parking here tonight I think you get two nights two or three nights absolutely glorious and that across the dam is an old an old favorite subject of mine that is Mount Polhataroa it's a magma plug of an ancient volcano the body of the volcano has eroded over time it's left that there plug stuck up and that I don't know every time I drive past it because you drive past it on the way to Auckland between Auckland and Taupo and every time I drive past it it just it just stands out it's glorious it just it really does remind me of something of of a bit of a bit of an American Midwest landscape it's just glorious absolutely stunning this morning I was hoping for a little bit of mist and when I first first opened the van doors we had a little bit of mist and plenty plenty of a, and a great view of the mountain unfortunately the last 10 minutes the mist has rolled in we've got a little bit of little bit of clouds nothing much it's going to burn off but we've got a little bit of cloud that's shrouding the top of the uh, of the of the plug that will move and it, it may color up actually if we're lucky it may color up the one thing that lets this this scene down is there's an orange flotation device for whatever reason that spans the entire width of the uh, of the lake yeah, just spoils it a little bit so the idea with the jetty here was to get a low enough angle with a with a foot rail of the jetty obscures the flotation devices unfortunately by doing that It more or less more or less coincides in line with the base of the mountain and it, it doesn't really work which is a shame I'm talking quiet because there's another there's another camper van behind me and I'm not entirely sure that they'll uh, they'll want to be up at 5 a.m. but why why would anybody want to stay in bed and sleep through this it's gorgeous absolutely stunning loads of mist rolling around we're in for a beautiful day in my head when the sun comes up at five to six and hits the top of the mountain that band of mist will have gone but it will stay stay there or thereabouts but just let the let the first close of sunlight hit the top of the mountain we'll get the reflection in the lake and that will be job done I left my fly rod back in storage didn't think I'd need it never thought about coming here Shit. again camera of choice today is the Bronica ETSI medium format film camera I've got a 50 millimeter 2.8 lens on roll or a part roll actually in fact to be honest I'm going to take it back to the van a bit sharpish because I've got one shot left one frame left on this roll <laughs> there you go so uh, I'm, I'm glad the van's not too far away <laughs> Uh, but it's Ektar 100 anyway, Kodak Ektar 100, that's the film of choice. I'm going back to the van to get another roll of film, because when it kicks off, it's going to kick off fast. And, 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 I've got a new film back. So now I can preload it, instead of messing about when the light does kick off. Hey, hey, here we go, showtime. We've got a film, we've got a spare film back. What are the chances of me dropping something in the lake? I'm a little bit, I'm feeling a bit clumsy this morning. Okay, stick that in the pocket. Black Ektar 100 120 roll film. It's a little bit chilly this morning. I think we're in for another mid 20s. Day. Yes, they were stunning, absolutely stunning. Did, a f did an awesome walk yesterday up to the Wairiri Falls, which was stunning, absolutely stunning. I'll, uh, if 
you've not seen that one guys check it out I'll put a link to it and that that was a that was a test of this uh, this new Rode mic my first effort that's it so that's a, a roll of film now loaded into that camera let me just wind it on so that's the beauty of this this Bronica system let's take put one back in slip that in your pocket and you've got the second back with the new film just click it on wind it on until you get to frame number one and we are now ready to shoot okay so I'm going to take that off put the other back on because the other back has got one frame left in it this is certainly not the shot that was envisaging at the start of play but it's actually quite nice looking straight across the the lake to the misty tree-lined hills using this jetty as a bit of a leading line and it's looking quite nice exposure time f11 half a second I'm going to take the shot. There's no colour. And that is the last shot on this roll of film. So that can get bagged up now and, uh, and go away for processing. And now, and also, I can slip on the new back. So on with the back, it's wound on to frame number one, dark slide out, we're about 20 minutes past sunrise, no colour whatsoever, but that's okay, that's okay, because now I can get back in the van, make myself a coffee, make myself some breakfast, keep watching, keep watching that mountain, because sooner or later this mist is going to burn off, and when it does, that's going to glow and when that glows I'll be cracking shots off left, right and centre I've just come across the highway away from the, away from the dam this is my favourite view of this, uh, this mountain unfortunately this cloud is sticking around, it's hanging around and it's just not, not breaking up at all not yet. I've, I've had this before so, so many times down here. You get down here, you're sort of expecting expecting great light. And it, it just, man, I don't think I've actually caught it with perfect light yet. But I'll keep trying. I mean, it's full of atmosphere today. Absolutely full of atmosphere today. The mist rolling around the hills. The good thing about today every day really I'm, I'm, not in, I'm not in much of a rush so my plan is just to just to hang about here I'm, I'm sure the light's gonna come just don't know when patience dear boy patience just starting to get the first breaks in the cloud f11 15th of a second. It's got to be worth a shot. Okay. And, and if you look just to the right hand side of the mountain, we have got a sliver of light. Here we go. trying to work a shot I've got these foreground weeds 
flowers, weeds, whatever they are, in the foreground. She's got some thorns that are really ticking me off. So I'm going to try and funnel this yap. Jeez, that one there, that bramble, my god. Ouch. It's just getting in the way of the shot. Ouch. Fucking thorns everywhere. So, ow, oh, you bitch. So I'm just trying to wrap it around another vine just to get it out of the shot. I think I've got it. Wait. A little bit of strategic gardening there. Oh. Showtime. Magic stand. Eleven thirtieth. F twenty two eighth. F twenty two. F twenty two. Eighth of a second. That bloody bramble's there again. Oh, it's a different bramble. That bloody thing. I don't think I can move this one though. I don't think there's anything to wrap it around. Fucking thing, man. Oh, bro. Yeah, it's going. Now the whole side of the plug is starting to glow. It's not perfect light, obviously, because. It's not the first light of day, but hey, it's light, it's light. And at this, this stage in the game, it'll do. And it's starting to light up quite nicely now, actually. Oh, it's starting to light up beautifully. Without mist hanging about. Life's good. Life's pretty good. That's a nice shot. That's lovely. All right. Now I'm just using a 0.9 soft grad from my other kit, from my uh, Fuji mirrorless kit. I'm just using that held against the lens, just to pull a little bit of a little bit of detail back in that sky. looking good it's looking very nice possibly gonna be the best shot I've got down here and it wasn't looking promising earlier but now sitting back where's my bloody I have got a here it is spirit level a little spirit level just to level the camera up yeah, this is probably the nicest shot I've got down at this location and I've been trying forever I say forever. Every time I drive past, I pull up thinking today, today, today. It never happens. But today, I think, I think actually, that's looking better and better and better. I've just got a quite a quite a bit of mist on the top there, which looks pretty cool. Got some nice light on the foreground. It's looking pretty good. We've got a culvert. A roadside culvert that runs just behind the behind the yellow weeds flowers and it's just it's just showing through a little bit but not enough to worry me so that's okay so let me just get one more reading on this light and then this will be the the last shot of the day this will be the killer shot okay F22, 15th of a second. 15th of a second. F22. I'm just going to put the 0.9 soft grad on again. Just to help with that sky just a little bit. And. And that, guys, is gorgeous. We've got full sun on there now. I don't think I'm going to improve on that shot today. That is absolutely beautiful. 
So that is a wrap. I reckon I've got the nicest shot I've ever got of this here mountain. For now, from New Zealand, on a cracking day. It's taken a while to get there, but we've got a shot. And I believe we've got a nice shot. All right guys, hope you enjoyed this. Catch you later.